Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Nick and I'm in front of the neighborhood. Weirdo. In today's video, we're going to be, well, I'm going to be showing you guys my every single day makeup, my everyday makeup routine. So this is basically how I do my makeup when I have time, because last time I did record a video of how I do my makeup in a rush, and this is when I actually have time to do my makeup. This is all my basic, this is the stuff that I literally swear by and I really love, and this is going to be probably a little bit longer video since I'm not doing a voiceover while doing it. I'm going to be talking to the camera. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this video. Obviously enough, first thing I always do is put my hair back. Take that drawing out of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and print. A skin sheet on it. Cause yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I start off with priming actually. So lately I've been using the Remy Mel London Insta Con Insta Concealer and Correct. So what I do is, there's like a whole recommended thing. This is the product. And it has a little mirror up here too. And it comes with um, literally the colors that I love to use for color corrector. Which are, um, oh, you can see me up here. <laughs> which are um, peach, green, and purple. So before I do that, I've been using the e.l.f. Luminous Primer. Before I put on that primer. And I felt like even really helping I just go ahead and I just put this all over my face it looks like I'm not rubbing anything in but if you really don't need that much of it and this really helps with the pro with my pores and everything but if I'm going to do eyeshadow which today I'm not doing eyeshadow if I'm gonna do eyeshadow I always put on my eyeshadow first which normally I do do eyeshadow but today I'm not So once you feel like you have that all rubbed in, all over, you're going to go ahead and, I'm saying this like a tutorial, but I am guess I'm just trying to show you guys. What I go ahead and do is I use my fingers. The orange one goes here. It goes around my lips. Because I have discoloration there. And then I go ahead and I follow up like this on my nose. And... I put the green one right here around my cheeks. I know I look crazy. I really do. But I just rub this all in with my fingers and for underneath my eyes since they have natural discoloration. I don't have under eye bags. But if you do, I really do recommend this. If you're a darker skin tone, use purple instead of orange. Because using purple instead of peach. Because peach is really meant for a little bit lighter skin tones. Like. Yeah. But purple. But if you if you are a lighter skin tone. And you have really really bad dark under eyes. Then. Use purple. But purple just really helps with the dullness too. I'm just going to go ahead and take my hand. And try to rub this all in together. So I go ahead and I rub that in and I always go in with a damp AOA beauty blender because I really love their beauty blenders and I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me in shade 332 Golden Caramel and this doesn't have an applicator so what I just do is put it on the back of my hand. It is a glass bottle by the way. So I put it on the back of my hand. I take my beauty blender in and I just I go like this with the beauty blender first. I like smush it all over my face. Which I mean like you shouldn't do this with all foundations because not all foundations are meant to be like worn like this. But this is just how I've been doing it lately and it been really working out for me. I make sure I get close to my under eye. And then you're probably like, girl, is that all you do? No, I go ahead and now, 
Once when it's smushed all over your face, you go ahead and just dab it in. So I really don't put too much um near my eye. Like I used to go ahead and put foundation on purpose underneath my eye. But I don't know more because it really does create texture when you go ahead and put your concealer on. So once when you're like dabbed in. Now that I'm all dabbed in, what I go ahead and do is I take this gel by, it's in the Pixar collection, the Ulta Beauty Pixar collection. I go ahead and brush my eyebrows up. Came in real quick, but what I'm going to do is I just take this and I brush up with it. I look crazy, don't I? But you know, if you like your eyebrows like that, you can like your eyebrows like that. I go ahead and I use this Wet n Wild um, eyebrow brush. I got it from Dollar Tree, and I also brush up. Oops, I took the wrong side. That hurt it. I go with the like hairbrush kind of side and just. I kind of like push it against like this and then push it against like that and yeah I don't know if that was a good description so I'm going ahead and go in now with my maybe my Maybelline Fit Me in Color Caramel number 40 and I go like this this is how I do my concealer under here I always do like a little wing action there and right there so as you can see I put it around my lips and I put it around my nose area like this and I go with my eye area and I try to just like I don't know go like this if that makes sense and it works for me so I just go ahead and I pat that all in now. So after I get done patting that all in, um, I go ahead and I was gonna put more concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and I use the LA Colors eye marker from Dollar Tree. I really love it. This is the black one, and I just um. I guess I'm going to try and show you guys because I'm not really good at doing eyeliner on camera. And that's just how I do my eyeliner. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat that one to the other side. Um, trying not to mess it up. They are definitely not twins, but they are related at least. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my eyelashes now. I go ahead and I use the tweezers of course my tweezers do get dirty because like glue and stuff and I think these tweezers are from like Dollar Tree <laughs> and I go in with the AOA um, color not color AOA strip strip lash adhesive which is really good it goes on like this bluish color and then it ends up turning a little bit wider and then it dries clear you know which is really good for me I really love this I like I've really been I really love their products and I really love this in general like this hasn't made me break out or anything like that that's why I really swear by this eyelash glue and it like never does me dirty it never done me wrong you know and you can also buy them on Amazon, which is the one that, that's the way how I just got a refill. I got them on Amazon, the, the AOA does ship on Amazon, there's certain products, and it's, um, Shop Miss A, I'm sorry. Shop Miss A does sell their AOA products on Amazon sometimes. I'll put the list in right here, I think it was like 5 for $10, which I think they're like a dollar something each, I think they're $1.98. Just gonna put that on. And put that a little bit upwards, like that. Okay, so after, I just had on a water bottle. 
<laughs> after I have my um, eyelashes on very lightly, I don't put too much. I grab a whole different beauty blender. And this is the Toffee Caramel 3 330 color. Dip. And I just put this on my face. I don't know, make it visual different, but throughout the day, it really does go good with the mix I'm about to put on, right? Because this is like my little mix that I be doing, you know? I've been using the James Charles palette. I know how people feel about it, okay? I know, I'm sorry. I just... I'm not gonna waste my money. I've been using this color right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that color to just contour. I'm in the color bound down below. That's it. I go ahead and tap some off. Put it really lightly because this is very pigmented. Very, very pigmented. And then I go down here. Take my beauty blender again with the this on it and I go over that make sure it's really blend out I don't like I don't like it looking too harsh or anything like that really ever so the next thing that I go ahead and do is I'm using two different setting powders because I still bake my face um, I know a lot of people don't bake no more but I really do like it really just helps me with like everything so I use two different setting powders. I go underneath my eye with a brightener setting powder by AOA. And then for the rest of my face, I use banana. And I use the same brush for them. So the brush that I'm using is the AOA Studio High Def Brush FB8 USA. So first I'm going in with this one. This is the brightening one, and I just do this one underneath my eyes, really. Right after that, the next one I just go ahead and do is banana. Uh, and go right here. I try to get them symmetrical. Cause this really does help shape my face. Okay. I go ahead and I'm gonna leave that on there for just a little bit. I got powder all over me right now. And see you guys in a minute. It has been a minute. <laughs> um, all I do is I just take this brush and I go in circles like this. And under here, I go in like in a U shape almost. And you might be wondering, why would you bake so much? It's because I sweat. Like, I just sweat so much. And baking really helps me out. Especially when I'm wearing makeup. So now that I know I'm not going to be doing anything else underneath my eye, I'm going in with my um, highlighter. No, not my highlighter. I'm going in with my same eye marker that I used earlier. And I'm just going to put a little black eye halfway. A, ba a black line halfway. And that's what I've been doing. I really like it. And then with the other half... What I go ahead and do is I grab a small flathead brush like this and I grab my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Luminous in Crystal High because Wet n Wild really do be making the best. My highlighter literally just fell out, bro. Bro, thankfully I had the John on here. I can't believe she just did me like that. Hold on, hold on. 
can't see it on the videos. Oh, I just smushed it. I just smushed it. Okay, I'm trying to pick it up. Okay, it went back in. Why would it do it? Anyways, they make really good highlighters. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just dip the brush in and put it underneath my eye like that. Right after that, what I go ahead and do is I just print on my actual highlighter on my nose. And I do an uh, exclamation mark, I guess, because I go here, and I put a little dot right there. And that does fade out through the day. The little dot right here does fade out. That's why I don't mind pretty so much. And what I do next, which we're almost finished, is I use this orange as a blush, or I would use this pink. Um, I'm going to go with pink today. You know, no, I'm gonna go with orange because this is the color I've been using the most. I've been using this orange a lot. I tap it, and then it still don't really have like a lot of pigment on it. So what I just do is my nose first. And I just do my nose almost in a V shape, like that. And I, I go like this, and little circles. And then now for the final part, which is before I put on my lipstick, I always do some type of spray. Lately, I use a Jeffree Star spray or the um, Ulta Beauty One of Fresh Makeup Dewy Finish. I just spray that on. It smells pretty good, not gonna lie. And then normally after I put that on, I would pat just like the areas that I get worried about. And then lately what I've been doing for a lip combination is this lipstick and my <laughs> eyeliner. So I'm gonna go ahead and not talk during this one, I'm gonna do a voiceover. So what I just do is I print out the line and then I rub it in with my fingers and then I just throw the lipstick of whatever choice I'm using on top and it creates a really pretty blend for me. So guys, now I'm putting everything away back into my Wet n Wild little Twin Star bag that has glitter in it. Super cute. Um, thank you so much for watching. This is the final look. This is how I've just been doing my makeup a lot lately. And the lip combo does switch up a lot. Um, I don't know why. I just like switching up my lip combo a lot. It normally depends too on what I'm wearing and what eyeshadow I do. But if I don't do eyeshadow, this is how I'm probably looking. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Okay, bye!